If you carry around a lot of environmental guilt, you probably shouldn't because everything that's happening now is your grandparents' fault. Anthony here for DNews, and there is a concept called extinction debt that's becoming more and more important in ecology. It basically refers to species going extinct now or in the future due to events that happened in the past. For instance, an animal's habitat might be destroyed, but that animal doesn't die out for a few generations. Or pollution causes all the trees in the forest to die, but they're still standing for years, so we don't see the effects right away. In the past, scientists have crunched extinction debt data back to about 1970, you know, seeing how things like the deforestation of the Amazon has contributed to the loss of species on the planet. But a new study has gone back even further, and the results are a little scary. Uh, Stefan Dullinger of the University of Vienna ranked 22 countries in Europe based on how many endangered species they had in the year 2000. Then he looked at the amount of pressure put on nature in all of those countries in 2000, 1950, and 1900. By pressure, we mean things like population density or intense land use. And you would think the countries with the most endangered species would be the ones that have done the most damage over the last 15, 20 years. After all, there's been more overpopulation, more pollution. But here's the thing, the countries with the highest number of recent extinctions are the ones that did the most harm in 1900, a hundred years ago. So that's got a lot of scientists concerned because it means a lot of endangered species could be on the way out even with recent conservation efforts. The species affected most by long-term extinction debt seem to be small ones with short lifespans, insects like dragonflies and grasshoppers. The debt length for mammals is shorter, starting in the 1950s. There's a silver lining here. Now that we've learned just how far-reaching extinction debt is, we can focus our conservation efforts better, right? We can give the most attention to the environments in the most need, and hopefully this new knowledge will lead people to making even better long-term environmental choices and legislation in the future. I don't know, what do you think about these new findings? Do you think we could really just now be feeling the effects of 100-year-old decisions? Let us know down below or in our live Google Plus Hangout tomorrow. You should definitely come join me and Lacey and Trace, talk about all the science-y and lifey stuff you've got on your mind. We've got details in the video description. And if you're wondering what the environment is doing to us, potentially in retaliation, I've got a new show starting today called Nature Hates You. It is all the horrible, spooky ways the Earth wants to get you, starting with rain. Rain wants you dead, you know? You can click over here or in the description to check it out.